Welcome to my channel, Hotspot with Loveth, the ultimate spot for all things entertainment, ranging from celebrity gists, reviews, interesting stories, and African folktales. Subscribe now. Hey guys, welcome back. Now, in this video, I am going to talk about some of the repetitive and unoriginal behaviors that viewers are tired of seeing on the show. As we gear up for season 9 of the Big Brother Niger, it is important to address these common criticisms to keep the show fresh and engaging. So, let's dive in and explore what viewers don't want to see this season. First up is housemates claiming no strategy. Now, one of the most common and frustrating claims made by housemates is that they have no strategy and are just in the house to be themselves. Now guys, while authenticity is important, the notion that someone would enter a highly competitive reality TV show without any plan or strategy can come across as disingenuous. Now why is this problematic? 1. Lack of authenticity Viewers often see this claim as a way to avoid being seen as manipulative, right? However, the nature of the game requires strategy. And denying this can make housemates seem less genuine. Secondly, boring gameplay. A lack of strategy can lead to a boring gameplay. Strategic moves and alliances are what keep the show interesting and dynamic. Now, when housemates claim they are just there to be themselves, it often translates into passive participation, which can be dull for the viewers. Thirdly, disservice to the audience. Fans invest a lot of time and energy into watching the show. They want to see contestants who are actively playing the game and making calculated moves. When housemates claim they have no strategy, it can feel like a disservice to the audience. Now, what are my suggestions for improvement? First of all, I would advise that housemates should embrace the game. Housemates should be encouraged to embrace the strategic aspect of the game. Being open about their strategies can make them more relatable and interesting to watch. Secondly, balanced approach. Contestants can combine being themselves with strategic gameplay. Viewers appreciate housemates who can navigate the game while staying true to their personalities. Another thing we are tired of hearing from contestants on the show is the claim that they have never watched the show. Yes, guys, another common and irritating claim is that housemates have never watched the show before entering the house. Now, this can come across as unprepared and insincere, making it hard for viewers to connect with them. Now, why is this problematic? Lack of preparation. Now, entering a show like The Big Brother Niger requires some level of preparation. Claiming ignorance about the show's format and previous seasons can make contestants seem unprepared and unserious. Secondly, missed opportunities. Not watching the show means missing out on learning from past housemates' successes and failures. Now, this can lead to repeated mistakes and less innovative gameplay. Thirdly, disconnection with fans. Now, viewers who are dedicated fans of the show expect housemates to have some level of familiarity with it. Claiming to have never watched it can create a disconnect between the contestants and the audience. So now housemates should actually come into the show saying that they have never watched the show. It is not possible or it is hard to believe that housemates, prospective housemates, have not watched at least one season of the show. So how will they understand the format and dynamic better? We need to encourage honest acknowledgement. Now if a housemate hasn't watched the show extensively, they can acknowledge it without making it seem like a badge of honor. They can express their excitement to learn and experience it firsthand. Now, another thing that we are not going to buy and I advise viewers not to promote this season is pretty privilege. Now, what do I mean by pretty privilege? Pretty privilege refers to the advantages that individuals who are deemed attractive receive, often without putting in as much effort. Now, some viewers are frustrated with contestants who rely solely on their looks, appearing to coast through the game without contributing much. Now, why is this problematic, right? Lack of substance, number one, lack of substance. Now, when housemates rely on their looks, it can lead to a lack of depth in their personalities and gameplay. Viewers want to see housemates who bring more to the table than just appearance. Secondly, pretty privilege can create an unfair advantage where attractive housemates receive more attention and opportunities simply because of their looks rather than their gameplay or personality. So, on the aspect of viewers, 
organizers, and the contestant themselves, we do not want a situation where pretty privilege is being promoted. Thirdly, the reliance on looks can lead to repetitive dynamics in the house, where attractive housemates form alliances based on superficial reasons rather than strategic thinking. I can remember in Double Wahala, this was what Erika wanted to do, right? She knew that she was attractive and she knew that one other very attractive person in the house was Nengi. And so she was trying to form an alliance with Nengi. However, Nengi had already said it um, coming into the house on the first day that she wasn't here for her pretty face. She came to show the world that beyond her pretty face, there is something more that she can give, right? And so Nengi did not agree to form such alliance with Erika. Now, what are my suggestions for improvement? Housemates should be encouraged to showcase their talents, skills, and personalities beyond their appearance. This can lead to a more well-rounded and engaging contestant. Now, another thing that we do not want to see play out this year in this season of Big Brother Niger is playing the victim card. Now, playing the victim card refers to housemates who continuously portray themselves as victims to gain sympathy votes. This strategy can be seen as manipulative and less genuine, leading to viewer frustration. Now, why is this problematic? Constantly playing the victim can be perceived as manipulative as it aims to evoke sympathy and gain support based on perceived hardships rather than actual Gameplay. It brings about lack of authenticity. Genuine moments of vulnerability are appreciated by viewers, but when housemates consistently use the victim card, it can come across as insincere and staged. Now, this strategy can create a negative atmosphere in the house, leading to unnecessary drama and tension among the housemates. So guys, housemates should be encouraged to show resilience and strength in the face of challenges rather than constantly portraying themselves as victims. Genuine storytelling and moments of vulnerability should be encouraged, but without overplaying the victim card. Housemates can share their struggles without making it their primary strategy. Another thing that we are not going to buy as viewers this season is intimate strategy. Now, using intimate relationships as a primary strategy is often viewed as simplistic and unoriginal. This approach can lead to predictable and uninspired gameplay. This was the problem Lilo had during her time. I think that's the double wahala, yes. She wanted to, you know, play the intimate strategy with them. What's this guy's name? Eric, I guess. I think his name is Eric. So she wanted to play that game. Both of them, they were trying to play the intimate strategy game because I do not understand why you're just coming into the show the very first week. In fact, the next day, two days into the show, you started kissing and mushing. Viewers found that very irritating, leading to their early eviction. I think they were even the first people to be evicted, right? Now, this intimate strategy of a thing, why is it problematic? First, lack of creativity. Relying on intimate relationships as strategy can show a lack of creativity and depth in the gameplay. Viewers want to see innovative and strategic moves, not just romantic entanglements. Intimate relationships can lead to predictable dynamics in the house, with couples often isolating themselves from the rest of the housemates. Relationships formed in the house can be fleeting and may not have a lasting impact on the game. These can make the strategy less effective in the long run. It will only bring about short-lived impact, right? Now, housemates should be encouraged to focus on strategic gameplay rather than relying solely on intimate relationships. This can lead to more dynamic and engaging gameplay. While romantic relationships can be part of the show, housemates should build alliances and friendships based on trust, strategy, and shared goals. So guys, in conclusion, by addressing these common criticisms, Big Brother Niger can keep the show fresh and engaging for its audience. Housemates should embrace strategic gameplay, be honest about their familiarity with the show, showcase diverse talents beyond their appearance, avoid playing the victim card, and focus on creative and strategic moves rather than relying solely on intimate relationships. These changes can lead to a more dynamic and exciting season, keeping viewers hooked and invested in the show. So guys, 
As we prepare for the Big Brother Niger Season 9, let us help to see how Smith will bring originality, creativity, and authenticity to the gameplay. Now, if there is anything that I have not mentioned with regards to things that we viewers do not want to see on the show, kindly drop your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you for watching, and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Big Brother Niger content. Guys, run along right now and subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to Hotspot with Loveth because it's going to be back to back to back Big Brother Niger contents, especially starting from July 28th, Sunday, July the 28th, 2024. I will be reporting every of the activity of Big Brother. In fact, it wouldn't seem as if you are not watching. If you do not have time to watch the show, do not just bother yourself, do not bother your head because every activity, everything going on in the house, I'll be coming here to give you the updates. It's going to be back to back to back content and i know that you would not want to miss out on this you would not want to miss out so what are you waiting for click on that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to get notified whenever i post new videos see you all in the next episode